यूएस प्रेसिडेंट जो बाइडन कॉल विद फ्रेंच प्रेसिडेंट एमेनुअल मैक्रो ऑन वेडनसडे लास्टेड 30 मिनट्स एंड वाज फ्रेंडली व्हाइट हाउस प्रेस सेक्रेटरी जैन साकी टोल्ड रिपोर्टर्स of the tone of the call uh, it was uh, friendly uh, it was uh, uh, one where uh, we're hopeful and the president is hopeful this is a step in returning to normal in a long important abiding relationship that the united states has with france uh, it was about 30 minutes long uh, as we noted in the readout and as you said it was extensive uh, but uh, part of the in, during the conversation the president reaffirmed uh, the strategic importance of france uh french and european engagement i should say in the indo-pacific region uh, something that we look forward to continuing to work with them on uh, and as we said in the readout the french ambassador will return to washington next week and he will then start intensive work with us officials so that will be part of the ongoing next steps uh, that we go from here and as all we also noted they will meet uh, in europe at the end of october Boris Johnson earlier uh, today dismissed French anger over the submarine deal, uh, saying the French officials should get a grip. Um, substantially, does the administration agree with the Prime Minister's criticism that the French have failed to acknowledge uh, the value of AUKUS and the submarine deal to global security? And then secondly, is calling on the French to get a grip helpful at this point? Well, uh, I can only speak for our relationship with the French and our relationship with the United Kingdom. Uh, and I will say that uh, the president during this call, as we said in the readout, uh, acknowledged uh, that there could be uh, more of a, there could have been more discussion in advance of the announcement. And that was an important, uh, important message for him to convey during that conversation. So I can't speak to the comments and whether they're constructive or not. Hi, Jeff. Thank you. Going back to the phone call this morning briefly with uh, the French president, did President Biden apologize to Emmanuel Macron? He acknowledged that there could have been greater consultation. And the call, again, as I stated earlier, was a friendly call, uh, and there was agreement that we wanted to move forward in our relationship. So did the president apologize to his French friend? There could have been greater consultation, but again, uh, this call was really focused on the path forward and returning back to normal and the important work we have to do with the French ahead. Last week, France recalled its ambassadors from the United States and Australia and accused of Biden of stabbing it in the back after Australia ditched a $40 billion defense contract with Paris for the purchase of submarines and opted for U.S. submarines instead. In a joint statement issued after Biden and Macron spoke by telephone, the two leaders agreed to launch in-depth consultations to rebuild trust and to meet in Europe at the end of October.